Okay, so I'm going to show you how to um, use MemoQ to translate with your language studio engines. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is get credentials from Omniscient um, Technologies where we give you the login details and you also must make sure that Kilgray have supplied the plugin details to connect to Language Studio. So we will send you the credentials and then you go into the server administrator um, access. Um, you then you'll be given a server URL, which is different from the one I have here because it's an internal one. But uh, Memo Kilgray will supply this to you. Um, you select us here and go into configuration. And what you do here is you would update your details. So I'm going to add the credentials. We'll give you a service URL which is shown here. The service port will be 80 and then you type in your details here. So we'll give you your username, password, account number and a project number. You may have uh, more than one different translation project um, so you can add the default one in here. Um, please don't get this mixed up with MemoQ projects. These are language studio projects. And then you click test connection. If you've done a typo or you've put in the wrong password it would tell you so here. Now I've got a successful connection so I click OK so we know we're connected. The next thing is to refresh languages and domains. Um, you can keep these settings here um, for waiting for jobs. This is if you've got a big job, um, it may take a long time to translate. You can just put one. If you want to, just put three to be safe. But you need to refresh your languages and domains to um, retrieve all the engines details from Language Studio. Every time you release a new engine, every time you give your access, self access to different engines, always come back in here and reconnect through here. So this is now uploading, we're well not uploading, but connecting with Language Studio to tell me what engines there are on my account. And it has completed successfully. So I'm going to press close. So now I am connected to my account. Um, the next thing I will do is create a new project. Now, some people might have a different way of doing this. Uh, this is what we do and what some of our customers do. Um, but this is to create a new online project. And then just give yourself a name for the project. Now, projects in MemoQ are by language pair. So all if you've got English to Spanish and you've got three or four different engines in different domains, all of them will appear under this project. So let's call this English to Spanish test. Um, and then you select your source language. So let me find English. And then Spanish for target. I click next until I come to finish. So, so what MemoQ is doing now, it is creating a project for myself to be able to translate with my English to Spanish engines. And as you can see, it has opened straight up for me. If it doesn't, just double click for project in that white space before. So let's import a file now. Um, 
and let's do a travel document. So MemoQ is currently importing the document and getting it ready for use in MemoQ. As you can see on the side here, there's um, some few different screens on like overview, translation memories, term bases. Um, this is out of scope for this demo. However, Kilgray can help you here. So I'm now what you will be doing here is then preparing, pre-preparing the file before you send it to M NMT. Um, which you can do by checking out local copy and editing and adding your translation memories. As I said, this is out of scope for this demo here. So we select the document, then you click Asia Online here. And what happens here, you'll have a selection of what engines you have for let's say English to Spanish, or if you chose English to German, you'd have all your Ger English to German engines. So you can select your different engine you want, your different projects. So I'm going to choose here. Um, just a bit of details about here. Um, however you've pre-prepared the document, if there's any blank segments that you haven't pre-translated, just click Not Started. If there are some that you have set as pre-translated um, from your TMs, however you um, want to use NMT for any fuzzy matches, we always recommend 80 or 85 um, percent on fuzzy matches here. So if you've got any pre-translated, click these ones here. And if there's any that you've set as edited, obviously you'll click here. So I'm going to select both of these ones here. And actually I haven't set any as pre-translated, so I can just leave that one blank. And then I clicked Submit Job. And what that does, it gives me um, the job overview here. Now, just a little bit of information here. If, it fin if it's failed with error, that means that something has happened wrong. Maybe the file hasn't been submitted to Language Studio properly. Uh, maybe Language Studio had a problem with the file. Maybe it... Um, Language Studio had a problem sending the file back to MemoQ. If that happens um, and you get a failure, just click on here, um, the job details, and it'll give you some more information and raise a ticket with us at support at omniscient.com. So you can keep on refreshing. As we can see, finished with success. That means the file translated. So I'll click close, and now that file will be translated with English and to Spanish and you can then work on your post-editing.